atmosphere was somber after the roller coaster of emotions that Bobby had. Spotty and Black were empathetic to his situation, but not sure what to do to comfort him. So they sat with him silently until he was ready to speak. Thank you. Thank you, friends. I'm glad that you're all here and I didn't go through it alone because I know I was going to do something stupid. Ah, mm. My friends, I appreciate it. I appreciate you. I'm better now. I've come down. A good cry always clears the heart. Now I am back on the mission. More determined now, actually. We can follow her to see where she's going. Hopefully, she'll lead us to her house. Then we can go home so Daisy can come up with a plan to get my life and my hat back. Ish, you, you and, the, and that hat. I, I know that your grandfather gave you, you that hat, but it's a distraction for now. The, 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 the most important thing now is to turn you back I, into a man. Then we can get the hat. But for now, let's go. I think dust yourself off, man. And let's follow that Magogo. That boy is getting on the bus and she is standing there. So let's go, but not too close. We don't need to hear anything else. Maybe she talks to herself. You can never be too sure with witches. <laughs> Bobby stood up and dusted himself off with his tail. They spent most of the morning on his antics, but he wants to continue with the mission. Blacks was still shaken by all that transpired. So he wanted to take Bobby's mind off things. Hey, Bobsy. It, it, tell us a story about, about when you were a human. Where did you live? Where is your family? Do you have brothers and sisters? Tell us more about yourself. Yes, Bobby Masang, the man. The Dapa Dapa man. Ah, guys, me, na. Yo, I was quite the man, you know. When I was a man, I don't think I appreciated myself enough. I was confident. And I knew that I was doing good things, like taking care of my mother and my friends. But now that I'm a dog, oh, I realize how great I was and how my people are missing me so much right now. I was a good man. The dogs were approaching the main road, so they waited to cross the street. Bobby watched the bus drive past with Rosie wearing his hat. Lex looked at him worried he would bark wildly and run after the bus. Instead, he bowed his head down and made peace with his friend's advice to forget the hat for now. The main focus was to see where the witch was going so she could turn him back into a man. Okay, let me tell you, Mina Gasese, I'm from Midlands, Zone 4, No Fire. How, Konala? This is your girl, Simos. Yeah, well, yes, Poti. I have lived here all my life. My mom and dad got married in a white wedding here in the streets. What? In the streets? Were they poor? No, man. I'm sure you've seen that people get married, they close off the road, and then they put up a tent with tables and a chairs, and it's beautiful. Then they did their step, and the whole neighborhood was there. Twang, 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 limbo, limbo, Yo, this was my mom's favorite and fondest memory. She stands up and does a step every time. Like this, look. Twang, twang, twang. Hey, you see how, what I was telling you? This guy sings and he dances. This is a human, this one. Look, look at those legs moving. Yo, he's amazing. Yo, but please, Bobby, do not stand on your hind legs again. <laughs> that is just way too much attention. I'm still shocked the SPCA didn't come take us away. No, 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 I won't. I was just remembering my mother telling me the story. What is a white wedding? You said your mom and dad had a white wedding. Is there a black wedding? Uh, I mean, I'm a black panther. So my wedding would have to be black. It would be a black wedding. Oh, <laughs> no, no. I forgot you are not humans. A white wedding is basically the white dress that the bride 
umakoti wears. And no, there is no black or orange or green wedding, but there is a traditional wedding where the families pay lobola to join the families and the bride and groom wear traditional clothes. Oh, hi. Humans are complicated, man. Why don't they just have one wedding? What is this all about? If I was a human, I would have one wedding. The humans look so happy in their colorful clothes when they are dancing in the streets. I like that. Yeah, I mean, I hear what you're saying. Some people feel the same way. Some people don't even have the white wedding. They just have an African wedding. So my parents got married three years before I was born. And they bought a house here. And that's where I grew up. They had me the light of their lives. My mom was a nurse and my dad was a truck driver. So he was not home very often. I spent a lot of time with my mother and in the streets with my brothers and sisters from my other mothers. Pella, in the township, your parents don't need to have too many kids because there are enough in the streets to keep me and her busy. Everybody parents the kids in the streets. All homes had a rule that we had to be home before the street lights went on. Sometimes we'd miss the curfew because the games were too good. My favorite game was Chicago. Chicago? Yes. That's a game we played. That's like dodgeball, but with tins. So we would save all the tins when we ate at home. There were 10 of us. So there's two teams of five. Then we decide which team has the ball first. The aim was to hit all the other team members with the ball before they could build the tower of teams, jump them, and shout Chicago. But yo, hey, hey, there was this guy called Speedy. Yo, 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 Speedy. He was so fast, everybody wanted him in their team. No ball would ever hit him. And he could build a tower and jump before you can even think yeah that was a great upbringing for sure ah uh, it's uh, it sounds amazing i remember seeing the kids in the streets playing that game they were always happy and laughing huh? until uh, until the street lights came on and bells came out then the kids would scatter ah uh, you saw that I remember dogs in the neighborhood joining the game and also chasing us around. <laughs> that was fun. Until you felt a bear hit you behind. Oh, it was hard to stop playing and we would get into so much trouble walking in the house at night. Ooh, that sounds like a nightmare. <laughs> I'm sure you were always getting into trouble when... Ha, I was. Being an only child, I was never in a hurry to go home. Except, of course, when mom cooked her famous seven colors. Mostly Sundays after church, but she would surprise me during the week. I would just see the chicken thawing in the sink. And I would know that it's during the week, seven colors, lunch or supper. That woman can cook. Oh. <laughs> I can taste her food already. Yeah. What is the chicken doing in the sink? Does she kill it in the sink? Oh no, humans, Mara. No, blacks. <laughs> the chicken is already in pieces, but it's frozen and needs to melt. We buy it from the shops, frozen. And then we thaw it so we can cook it. Oh. Hey, Bantu, more colors. What is seven colors now? All oh, these colors, white African wedding. Now, here we go. You humans, Mara. I want to be a human. Do you think that witch can turn me into a human also? No wonder you love food and chicken so much. Hey, oh, yes, indeed. I love to eat. Mina, you see, I'm skin and bones, but I can eat all day. When you make Sunday lunch, you can't just make pap and gravy. It has to be colorful, like a rainbow, like the rainbow nation. Ah, we would have rice that's white. That's the first color. Mm. Then we would have meat or chicken and gravy. The gravy is reddish orangey because of the tamati and the curry powder. The chicken will be brown because of the spices they put when they fry it. Oh, oh I can hear it now. Say so shh in the oil yo 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 <laughs> so far we have one white which is the rice two brown fried chicken 
and three reddish orange gravy then you need green green is the spinach or, or, or the cabbage number four then we have beetroot which is a dark red five then we have carrots that are orange and can be cooked in many many delicious ways six and the best of all that i love the most is number seven baked beans and mayonnaise yo haha -ha, that's the best salad ever my favorite mayonnaise yeah mayonnaise is like a sauce like itamati sauce you know the white one yo it is so good yo <laughs> i can feel my stomach rambling all this talk about food is making me hungry mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm also hungry now mm -hmm. oh it sounds so good mm -hmm. They were so caught up in Bobby's story that they forgot that they were following the Makoto. They were daydreaming about being a human and living in the life that Bobby was talking about. They looked around and spotted the witch standing next to a gate. They watched her intently. She opened the gate, then took out a key from her pocket to open the door. Then she went into the house and came out with a rubbish bin. The dogs knew instantly that she was home. They looked around to make sure they wouldn't get lost when they came back with danger. They saw a puzzle shop next door. They ran back home excitedly to share the news with Daisy and the others. Bobby felt confident that he would be a man soon. Whoa!